smashing the boards. Who wants it? Them boys out there hooping. Here it is. They're really banging on the boards. Mikhail trying to keep it live. Bird knocks it away. There's Mikhail gets submarine. Tell you, he's on the ground. That should have been a foul. <laughs> Let's get it. We back. We got 1986 NBA playoffs here around one game two. Chicago Bulls versus the Boston Celtics. This is part two to the video. So if you haven't seen part one, go to the channel, hit the playlist, and you can get caught up on everything. It's the last video I just dropped. And also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn the notification bells on. That way you don't miss none of the videos. And then like the video as well so more people can come to the channel and check it out. But let's get to this video. I want to talk y'all heads off. This is quite a long, this is a quite long video, so let's get to it. 58 to 51 at halftime. 58 51. Celtics lead one to nothing in games, but the Bulls lead here, 58 to 51 at Boston Garden, where the Celtics lost only one time this year. Tommy, is that 58 to 51 Chicago lead deceiving in any way? The Celtics only lost one time? That is crazy. This is the year that the Celtics only lost one time. This is crazy. Crazy. Very well beat, Dick. The Celtics shot very poorly, and the Bulls' defense against the low post game, the various double teamings that they did, confused the Celtics, and I think they might get that straightened away at halftime. They're used to it. Uh, I think they might have taken the Bulls a little lightly in this uh, first half. Uh, I think the Bulls should be up by at least 20. Let's take a look at some of the key statistics of the first half. Michael Jordan owned the backcourt. 23, the Celtics combined had only eight. Rare for the Chicago Bulls to turn it over only one time in a half. But that's what they did. But when it came to the offensive rebounding, Boston owned that aspect of the game, and they out-rebounded the Bulls 33-18. to 18. And When was the last time you saw the Celtics shoot 38% in a half? And that's what they did. Yet they trailed by only seven, underway third period. Kyle Macy in the backcourt along with Michael Jordan, who has the ball now. Gene Banks starts it forward with Oakley and Woolrich. Is that three second Very violation? The usual lineup that the Bulls have out there. Who is playing center? Oakley, Woolrich. They got a small front line in there, the Bulls, but very fast. Maybe they're going to run. DJ bringing the ball Celtics up. Celtics' only lead in the game was two to nothing to start things. Inside of McHale. And that's too McHale easy. McHale starts things in the second half. And he has 19 points, and it's a five-point lead. Kevin got 19. He got the team Oakley on his back right now. in that first half. As a matter of fact, just seven minutes and scored four points. Sidney Green, the key man again, perhaps off the bench. His Woolridge misses. But Kevin will have a, uh, a double-double. Double. Looking inside, McHale against Oakley. Oh. Company misses that shot. And Harris the underneath the hoop. Had to bring it out. Lost it out of bounds. Come on, Pierce. What you got going on, man? Just dribble the ball. Bounces. Celtics Don't come right back to your hand. Tremendous hands. domination off the glass. Woolridge with 13 points. He has the ball along with Jordan's 23. Woolridge missed inside. Woolridge on that one on one game. I think they got to park that for a while and find somebody else. <laughs> Banks working against Bird on the post. Oh, McHale tried to double team and Woolridge misses again. Here's Michael Jordan. And Basket one. Be good and a foul and 25 for Michael Jordan in the game. You know, this lineup that they have in there, I, I, I got to ask him after the game why it's in there because I, it, there's no real size and uh, no real strength. There's no, well, Oakley's Other pretty strong, Oakley. but yeah. there's no inside game. Or board banging going on. You mean Sidney Green? Sidney Green, I think. He's got three fouls. Maybe they're trying to save him, but McHale can have a field day against this unit. A minute and a half gone by in the third period, 61 to 53. And you see how Dennis lead. Johnson just take his time? Bird inside. Okay, then Bird, hold on. That boy got a jumper on him, Larry man. Bird has 14 points. They've been not allowing him to get that shot off, have they? They've been in his jersey with him. They've taken his defender out of the normal team defense. 
Ainge is on Macy, who has attempted only one shot in the ball game. Woolridge working against McHale goes in, and a good move by Orlando Woolridge. Yeah, Dude, Woolridge can play. Yeah, they trying to yes, get Dennis Johnson up out there. He right. really run the show. He takes his for time. Six is the shooting for a Woolridge. Thirty-three percent. Come on, for three. Come on Danny. The rebound by the O. Stan Albeck does not have a lot of the respect for Kevin McHale's defense. Jordan goes up, no basket and a foul. Dennis Johnson with his third personal foul and a timeout here with 9.38 to go in the third. Now eight points. So Michael Jordan with 49 in game one, 26 right now, and Tommy asked some of the Celtic guards their observations on how to play Michael Jordan. Uh, foul him and hope someone else can come in and do the job. <laughs> you know, if, if the team can't stop him, maybe he'll shoot himself to death. I don't know. I guess you'd give a call to Clint Eastwood because uh, there's not much you can do at that point. <laughs> Just let him go. <laughs> they all tried on Thursday, including this man, Dennis Johnson. But when the second half came to play, Dennis Johnson with a tremendous effort. He had seven baskets in a row in the third period in 26. And did a better job against Jordan. By the way, Celtic guards are shooting three for 13. Chicago with it with Jordan with nine and a half. Long range. Jordan Good hit. shot. And a 10-point lead for the Chicago Bulls. Keep in mind their biggest lead in the first half was 11, and they're close to that now. Crowd getting a bit anxious again, Tom. Boy, and Gene Banks is doing it. Well, of the job of trying to stay with Larry Bird. Not an easy task. Oakley comes out to meet him. Look at Larry. Larry. Right back Bird at you, now, MJ. Hitting two outside shots in the first three minutes of this third period. Casey Jones counts on Larry Bird to bring him out of the doldrums. He's done it. I'm at a Philadelphia game here when he did it to the tune of three three point plays in the final moments of the first half. Jordan working against Dennis Johnson. McHale getting ready to help out. He does, Ooh. but Banks is there with a feed. And Parrish commits the foul, and that'll be his fourth personal foul. Four on double zero. Well, Larry Bird forgot Gene Banks and let him sneak in there. Bird, the ultimate team defender for the Celtics, was had his total concentration on Jordan. The here. advantage of the great depth the Celtics have. Bill Walton, Parrish goes out. He has scored six points and is... Burden with four fouls, but Bill Walton has six points and 13 rebounds in the game, and he has been the big center force for the Celtics today. Dick Stockton and Tom Heinsohn here at Boston Garden. Capacity crowd, 262nd consecutive. First weekend of the NBA playoffs. Here on CBS and the Celtics trailing the Chicago Bulls by 10, 67 to 57. A big shocker if the Bulls can hold the lead. Boston lost only once here all year. Leading though one to nothing in the best of five. Walton puts up the short shot. This and shot. There's a little confusion factor that uh, Stan Allback hoped to introduce into his defense in the low post. Sometimes double team, sometimes not. Send the double from different directions. It's working. Jordan again handling the ball with 11 on the shot clock. Dueling with Dennis Johnson. Walton loses the rebound to Woolridge and fouls him. Oh my God. They about to be in the penalty. That was a tough go inside of two determined men going for one ball, and Bill Walton commits his fourth foul. So both Celtic centers, Walton and Parrish, have four fouls. There's Walton spreading out, but the quicker player, Woolrich, is able to step inside. Normally, Walton plays against the bigger, slower guys that don't have the ability to use their quick feet to step inside. You saw what Sidney Green was able to do to him in the first half. But the foul story now becomes focused on the two Celtic centers who have four fouls. If one or both get into foul trouble, that could be a major factor down the stretch. Should be, but uh, they're smart enough to use those fouls. I would be, I'm not too concerned uh, if I were Casey Jones at this point for fouls. Don't forget boxing out, out, man. They jumping too early for the ball. Quite a banger who has seen some quality minutes this year. Nearly four minutes going by, third period, and a whistle and a foul away from the ball. Called against Chicago and a derisive cheer from the crowd who would think that the Bulls have had the edge in call so far. Charles Oakley, that's his fourth personal foul. Four on Oakley, the rookie from Virginia Union. 
Double team on McHale. Open is Johnson. Penetrate. Good score. Lay, boy. Now that time they doubled. And they forgot to get to Dennis Johnson quick enough. The rotation of the defense of the Bulls wasn't there. Eight point lead for Chicago. They led by seven at the half. 7.39 remaining in the third. Double on Jordan. Inside. Oh, yeah. Branch run it, run it, DJ. Hit in the eye, but lost the ball. Celtics pushing it up, and Ainge goes in. And the foul will be against Chicago. Ainge may be the spark that the Celtics haven't had to get their fast break going so far. Well, he's their real push man because he has a desire to really attack the defense. Dennis Johnson, when he gets the ball on the outlet, really kind of three-quarters it up the court. Danny Ainge has got... More speed to apply to the fast break than DJ does. Ainge with his first shot. point of the ball game, averaging nearly 11 a game, coming in and a 90% free throw shooter. Misses mm. one of them though. Foul, by the way, was on Macy, his first. Macy with the ball, guarded by Ainge. Dennis Johnson is sticking with Jordan effectively. Jordans can't seem to get away and losing the ball momentarily. And losing it for good is open. Celtics with Bird. To Walton. Uh-huh. Look at the crowd go wild. And a 20-second timeout called by Chicago. That's that momentum they need right the there. As the Celtics have come back, still trailing by five. This is the exciting time of the year in the NBA. And the playoffs continue next weekend. We'll be on the air Saturday, 3.30 Eastern time, and then a doubleheader on Sunday, beginning at 1 o'clock Eastern. Of course, we don't know what matchups you'll see. It could be at the tail end, game fives of the first round matchups, or the beginning of the conference semifinals. But whatever it is, you'll see some exciting action next weekend on CBS. Philadelphia leading a tight battle over Washington, 64 to 61 in the spectrum. The Bullets lead one to nothing in the best of five of that series. Philadelphia needs Moses Malone. They've lost their power guy inside. Crowd has turned up a notch here. See how Chicago responds. Woolridge. Banks. And Banks quiets them for the moment at least. Oh, what a smart <laughs> play by Gene Banks. You know, Got funny. right in there as they went to the penetration. Got the good position on the offensive board. Celtics spreading out their offense, making Chicago play more one-on-one -on -one defense, not the team variety. Ainge with a move on Macy. And a foul on the pass, a one-shot foul. Let's watch Banks here on the glass you talked about. There's Larry Bird going to the penetration, and look at Banks coming right in there, steps inside with nobody really blocking him out. Mm. Timeout called by Boston with 6.27 remaining in the third. Celtics have won 32 in a row at home, but the point is, in the best all-time home record in the history of the league, at 40-1, every home team has won so far in the playoffs, with the exception of the first game when the Bullets shocked Philadelphia with that 18 to nothing spurt at the end. Wow. Oh, That's tough. Into the playoffs, Dave, 32 games straight, 40-1 uh, and and one the, record. The teams are closer together in talent. And the one who they lost to. Closer together in mental toughness and battling against the home crowd. No one thing, and that is uh, the Houston Rockets with a 2-0 lead over Sacramento have to play that Tuesday night game in the Arco Dome where the Kings were unbeaten this year. We'll see if that jinx continues. Very impressed with the Bulls in this quarter. They've used a lot of good, solid offense. Good play. Even with that strange lineup, huh? With that strange I got to ask him after the game why he came out. I never would have People got to remember, when you're doing a screen, you got to keep it real tight on a defender. So they can't get around you that fast. They get around the defender that fast. Woolridge working against McHale. The basket is good in a foul. And one. Orlando Woolridge gets the hoop. Like, MJ really has some giants on this team, man. You know what I think it is, Dick? I think that uh, Stan Hallback really feels that there's not enough good one-on-one -on -one defenders on the Celtics. He has the move by Woolridge against McHale. He feels Mikhail can't guard Woolrich. That's why he's attacking him. I would never believe it myself. I think Mikhail's a very good defensive player. Another point here. The Celtics shot 38% in the first half. They're 7 for 9 
so far in the third period, and yet the Bulls have added a point to their lead. And a whistle before the shot, illegal defense against Chicago, and that's a technical foul. The second time an illegal defensive call is made, it's a technical. So Danny Ainge has been shooting. Interestingly enough, Larry Bird was the free throw shooting champion this year, but Ainge has been shooting the tees lately. We have not seen any tempo in this game in the third quarter whatsoever. This has been a chess match with Boris taking two minutes to think about his next move. That's how uh, long the game is developing as far as I'm concerned. No pace whatsoever. Boris, I mean Dennis Johnson with the ball. Boris with the ball. Yeah. 5.40 to go. They set that play up every Bird time. Going in on banks. <laughs> <laughs> that was the same play they just literally move. set up before the technical the foul was game. called. Keep in mind, he did not score. DJ passed to Larry, cut through the middle, the and then Larry got a whole oh, wide open. That time and, Paint the uh, go down there and hit him with the left hand little hook shot. Made him take a tough shot. It's four for four this half. Macy hits it, and Ooh. the foul on Ainge. Wow, Sir that's a tough shot, boy. Saying, Here's a guy that's taken one shot in the game. Why foul him all the way out there? Right. You heard what the announcer said. Why would you foul him like that, Ainge? I, I think when you take when he took one shot, shot like that, he probably didn't make the free throws. Watch, he ain't even gonna make the free throws. Watch, he gonna miss this free throw. Drop into the paint to help. Uh, well, I was wrong. My bad. Thought I knew something. <laughs> Ainge with three. Well, they got burned to a three-point. Fare thee well, and it's 77 to 69. Once again, Chicago by eight with five minutes, ten Look, seconds. Look, cut through the middle. Hey, bird. Yeah, good foul. Because that was that Chicago same play. I told you that that was that same play. He passed Chicago the bird with the wing, cut Woolridge through the middle. This time they, they tricked him with it, trying to get him a nice little sneaky and bucket. In. Nobody got to uh, the rotation to stop that cutter quite quick enough. Almost got a hoop out of it. Two fouls now on Orlando Bull Woolridge, and Johnson is shooting. Two shots. Well, Bird is responding shot, boy. to the defense that the Bulls are playing. Keep your team in the game. Him. One time he doesn't get doubled, he makes the swooping move into the lane. This time he gets doubled, he sets up two easy free throws. Is that taking what the defense gives you? Well, he's a guy that, as I said in the beginning, takes advantage of every half inch. Imagine if you give him a yard. Y'all need two stops. I need to stop Six right here. Six-point game, Chicago leading. Biggest lead was 11 in the first half. They had a 10-point lead here in this ball. period. Hold Jordan, on. First half, they had a 10-point lead here in this period. Jordan with a juke and a move. Sure. I, knew, I, knew, I knew that was good. Boy, that was some defensive play by Dennis Johnson. Celtics can cut it to four. Ooh. Knocked Ow. away. Chicago ball. Uh, that was yeah. a terrible call. That nah, was a good call. Terrible call. A man was on his arm. Should have been a foul. Yeah, definitely should have been a foul. Jordan out. Up on top, a 1-4 offensive It must be slippery the right there. Macy. Working aim. Banks. Woolridge. Swung it nice Boy, that's two air balls in a row, man. What they got going on out here? They trying to build a house. Hey. Oh, the fake. The fake. He lost his footing, but yet made the layup. And a timeout by Stan Albeck. It's a four-point Chicago lead. Why did they do with the Boston Celtics jacket on on the bull on the bull side of the court? The Celtics have outscored Chicago 14 to 8. Tell me that man over there telling their secrets. Four. And Danny Ainge, you know, you have to force your way to uh, 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 act of willpower to create tempo sometimes when you get caught in the rhythm. And as Danny Ainge, he was challenged. He'll have none of it. He's going to take it as hard at the defense as he can. And now they're in a good attack position. And then our bird even with that stumbling move to come in and make a layup. That's what Pace can do for the Celtics. Bird, five for five this half, 22 in the ball game. Jordan and Woolridge have 48 of Chicago's 77 points. Jordan, and the Bulls still have it. Three shot run it, run it. Run it. Don't no, slow it down, y'all got that the tempo. Is not necessary. Under four you know, minutes yeah, he's a general. He's gonna take his time when he get Keep down in there. Mind that the Bulls had a seven-point lead and the way they were playing. Tommy's opinion, anyway. Uh, little, oh my God, that's too easy. That's N1. Right. I told y'all every time that's the same fucking time. You see how? I ain't about to, I ain't about to two months on here, but I just know I know how to read basketball. <laughs> well, that time there is no tougher guard in the league. Than a double-team bird.
and they isolated Bird down there. Everybody on the weak side of the Celtics is away from the ball, but they did move quickly, but not quick, quick enough. Wedman replaces McHale, who has 19, but only two in this third period. Well, they are not going to the low post game. Casey Jones says, I need this. Bird shall lead us out of the darkness, not Kevin McHale, and so far he's been doing a pretty good job. That boy no DJ be focused. Been the Celtic center, played more time <laughs> Hold than on. Robert Parrish, although both he made that bucket, battles, though. With 3.42 remaining in this third period. Bulls now have to continue to play intelligent basketball like they did the first couple of minutes of this game. They slowed the tempo down. Uh-oh. Don't, don't take bad shots. Move it around. And the Bullets have regained the lead over Philadelphia, 79-75. The Celtics, meanwhile, have scored six in the Oh, out of bounds. And Dennis Johnson packs Michael Jordan, and that'll be number four on DJ. Four fouls on oh, DJ. Oh, you could tell DJ look at the game. He, Paris he mad. Charter members right now. That wasn't Dennis no foul, man. Straight up knows, and that means that he's... Oh, that was no that foul. First step can get by Dennis, because Dennis That's, doesn't have the same so kind of foot movement. Foot we speed. do that to this day. George that was a good steal. And hand a part of the ball, too. Going for his 30th point of the game here. This is the time... 30th the point. ...that you go to Michael Jordan, I think. He's strong. They didn't overuse and they got 30 the right half. now. These are the crunch points. And we have not seen Sidney Green this half. No. Nope. Got to be a reason why. 325 remaining in the third period. Well, I'm going to ask Stan after the game again. It's two questions. <laughs> Oakley is on wall. Bird is there with the offensive rebound. Leading Wedman. Short shot. Come on. And Oakley the rebound. Wedman had a shot he normally makes. Oakley clears with 310 to go. Get down the court. Get down the court. Jordan. They got the numbers the on you. 79-75, Boston. Open is Macy. And Macy hits. Seven points so for Every Kyle time they Macy. get close, and man. The Bulls, who had their lead cut to two, now up to six again. When he has time to sight the basket, which the penetration of Jordan gives him, he'll make that shot, Kyle Macy. Different play. Under three minutes. Remaining in go. the third period. No, get out of move, Danny. Move. It's been a big period for the Boston Celtics. Yeah. Knock Come away. on, Danny. Celtics possession. Let's bring you up to date again. Literally on the met that Danny for sure. Corzine and Oakley with four. Parrish Walton and Dennis Johnson with four. And before the Celtics can inbound, Jerry Seasting will come back in the ball game, replacing Dennis Johnson. That's going to put Danny Ainge on Jordan. Ooh, ooh, tough lay. Tough and lay. Jordan on Danny Ainge. And Ainge chalks one up there. And they're down to four points now. The first game goal got of the game points. for Ainge. Ainge might even do a better job than DJ because he's used to playing point guard. Shifty guys. He did the other night with his quickness. Jordan. This is tipped up. Tipped up again. Come on, get out there. Run it, Comes run it. To the Celtics. Uh -oh. Cut it to two. Oh, foul. It's foul. Way to draw the foul, boy. Oh, they got four fouls, and there's still a whole fourth quarter left, man. They're going to need Parrish, Kevin, and, and DJ. will go to the line, 90% from the free throw line, to try to bring the Celtics to two, within two points. John Paxson comes into the ball game. John Paxson. I thought his name was Jim Paxson. It must be two different out. people. Macy with Jim Paxson, John Paxson, two different people, right? Any age, you know. Is, is a very big guy to play point guard. He's got exceptional quickness for his size and uh, has learned to keep, uh, contain a real good fit shot between his knees. He plays straight on defense, and that's just the type of guy that might do a great job on uh, Michael Jordan. Two minutes to go in the third period. Ooh, good read, boy. Three on two, all the way. And one. Who is that, Danny? Danny and Danny, that boy. Danny boy. Danny Ainge is clearly the spark plug for the Boston Celtics here. Danny the boy three. turning up. He read he that all day and cut out. Getting the crowd into the game. That was that baseball he had in right there. But Danny, you know, when you play a Michael Jordan. You know, he's trying to steal those, steal those, he's trying to steal 
the base. Hey, you be creeping over. Get that you be creeping. On you. <laughs> <laughs> that was that baseball that came out, Danny, right there. When you try to steal the base, you be creeping. You watching. You creeping. You heard him grabbing the gun. <laughs> Hands up, hands up. And, ooh, that was luck. Who gets credit for the basket? Charles Oakley. Can't take it. I mean, he, he shot it. Oh, tech. And a technical foul has been leveled by Jake O'Donnell. What's up with the refs, yo? Hold on, man. Something ain't right, man. Right? Every time Boston get close to uh getting the lead, the refs start calling stuff from uh, in, in, in the Bulls' way. Something ain't right about that, yo. Jordan, 31 points. And the Celtics trail by three with 135 to go. Then the crowd's yelling out bullshit. <laughs> the whole crowd, you know, everybody in the ring yelling out bullshit. Yup, yup, thank you for the tip. Hey, Danny Ainge, really? Walking bucket right now, y'all. Taking the tempo away from the Celtics, trying to Michael Jordan right now. Yeah. Ten points in this period for Ainge. Oh, my what a God, great that's shot. tough. And a basket and a foul. That's tough. You talk about bird sheer determination at certain points of a game. Michael Jordan has those same qualities. Yes, he does. He's got to get, watch him get around Jordan. Danny, Danny Ainge hit Michael Jordan with his own move. Left hand drive. Now Walton right there. And here comes Jordan, but Ainge is in front of him, angles him off, turns him loose to With the, the second bump. defender. That's the Celtics, tough. But Jordan overpowers Michael him. Jordan got Walton 35. committed his fifth personal foul. Bill Walton has five. Parrish is on the bench with four. Under a minute to go, and the Bulls lead by four. Seasting. Good play. To Wetman. Come on, get that ball. Bird. Huh? And Oakley powers his way for the rebound. And Larry Bird gets called for the foul. That's his second personal foul, and Oakley will shoot. Here comes the rebound. Oakley well inside, and Bird says, well, I'm going to try and knock it out of your hands from underneath. And he must have hit the ball into his jaw, and Bird said, I hit the ball. What a face, huh? <laughs> face of a winner isn't it oh it is <laughs> here's Charles Oakley who's a 66 percent free throw shooter I'm still shocked there's in the crowd yelling out bullshit y'all <laughs> only two this period Bulls have made their last 14 free throws now make it 15 Walton on the bench with five Robert Parrish also on the bench. He has four fouls. Celtics playing without a center. McHale is playing center at this Ooh, point. Play. Inside against Oakland. And the foul against Chicago. A push. A very late whistle. Put your the hands down, man. You seen the push. Shooting, man. Sidney Shoot. Green has come into the ball game. First time he has played in the second half, replacing Charles Oakley. Woolridge has his fourth personal foul, and Parrish with four comes back in, replacing Scott Webb. So Sidney Green, who performed so well in the first half for Chicago, with four points and five rebounds, and well, you can tell Larry know how to shoot. Look at his whole form. For Look at his form. His I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna show y'all how you know right he can now, shoot. Boston Celtics. See if they can cap. Dang. But look, just look. Look at his whole form. He got the goose going on right now. You know Larry know what he's doing out there when he's shooting the ball. Realize on that bigness, that size. You ought to be fresh. Right, because uh, Chicago is not capitalizing on their quickness and speed with fast breaks. Bird is 20 30 seconds left. Woolridge powers his way in, blocked by McHale. Come on, Pierce. still has it. You got slippery hands. Kevin McHale with the block shot. He's had at least one block in the last 30 games for the Celtics. Wow, Woolrich uh, rolls back and has McHale right there with him. Center. This game. Return to center. Jordan against Ainge. Oh, 
Butler, good with 16 seconds to go, 91-85. Well, Ainge forced him left, forced him right into the second defender, but Jordan with that great leaping ability go over the big guys, too. Playing for the last shot, Ainge goes for three and hits it. Seven that seconds, Chicago has an up. opportunity, leading by two. Maxson, blocked by Come. McHale, and that'll do it. That'll do it at the end of the third Hey, period. man. Shout out to Danny Ainge for carrying the team during the third quarter, man. Real talk. At the end of the third period, and we'll return after this word from your local station. Let's have a review of this ball game. Chicago sparked by Michael Jordan, 17 first period points, took an eight point bulge over the Celtics, second time in the series they've had that lead. Larry Bird had 12, as Chicago's lead was cut to seven. Danny Ainge was the spark plug in the third period. Bill Walton has done a great job off the glass the entire game as the Celtics have inched closer to 91-88. But to the Chicago Bulls' credit, no matter what happens, as you look at the shooting story, the rest of the way. And this Let's see. First half, they have 47 points, 38. And then they had... Now, something ain't right about them numbers, yo. Because Chicago... Oh, oh, oh. Maybe some ain't right about them numbers, yo. Celtics certainly got hot so far in that third period. That oh, the that's Bulls the field goal percentage. Showed poise in withstanding several thrusts by the Celtics at this time. Well, Stan Albeck must feel that uh, and believe that philosophy that uh, the Celtics cannot play good one-on-one -on -one defense. And he's spreading it out so that the Celtics are forced to play that type of defense. Larry Bird this shot. gets the first points to start things off. He has 26 in the ball game. Jordan with 36 is the high score in the game. Jordan has scored 85 points in the two playoff games. Paxson guarded by Seasting into Green. Green is fouled. There's that spring that Sidney Green has inside. You see a heck of a pick by Robert Parrish, the free bird. Gene Banks has to roll off, but Bird still has time to get the shot away. And Bird, as we say, only needs a half inch. Foul was on McHale, his third. Sidney Green has been in a shooting slump the last month. Trying to work his way out of it at a very tough time to do it. Playoffs against Boston. But this is a low post option that uh, I think has been very fruitful for them in prior ball games. He can go over. Kevin Sidney McHale Green will have a double-double. Celtics looking to tie it again. Dick Stockton and Tom Heinsohn, fourth period. Game two, best of five. Celtics won the opening game, and they're in a dogfight here against Chicago. Trailing 92 to 90. Ooh. Diving for the loose ball is Gene Banks, but the Celtics still keep possession. Chicago trying to do what only one other team has done all year, beat the Celtics here at Boston Garden. You know, you have to keep your mind together, Gene Banks, and playing a Larry Bird, particularly in the Boston Garden. Oh, you know, they only lost one time at Boston Larry Garden. Bird to get one shot, and, he, and Banks has the utmost uh, respect for Bird. He says he's the craftiest guy he's ever played against. He learns something new for his own game every time he plays him. Bird, with one second on the clock. What? It's a three-pointer. Talk, talk about Steph Curry. Talk about Steph Curry shooting for deep. Look at Bird. And the Celtics <laughs> have their first lead. They wasn't even, they the wasn't even supposed to be shooting from the three-point line like that. He took, hold oh no, on. Oh, 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 hit him up, hit him up. Oh, you ain't seeing cutting with Inside your boy. Parrish. And traveling call against Robert Parrish. Oh, my God. I here told y'all, every time the Celtics get up, accident, yeah. here Bird come the refs. Pop out as you really, they could have called a foul. Instead, Bird, as the clock is winding and dying, has to, has mm -hmm. to let it fly, and he hits it. So now we'll see how Chicago responds to that knockdown punch by Larry Bird. Bulls with it, trailing by one. They come the rest. I already about to call something. By in the fourth period. Told you. And a foul. Told you. Jordan is fouled by I told Johnson. you. And I, I see what's going on. on Dennis. I see what's going on. So Johnson with five. Bill Walton on the bench with five fouls. And now he gets off the bench. And Robert Parrish playing with four, and Parrish will sit down. Yeah, because Parrish, what you Parrish doing, bro? today has six points and six rebounds. There is Orlando Woolridge, who has 20 points in support of Michael Jordan's 36. Now 37 for Jordan. 
Michael Jordan. Well, you cannot Ooh. stop him because he handles the ball so much. And he, he they, so much a percentage of, of the offense is designed 38 to points. just get the ball and score. 14 for 14 from the line. Chicago regains the lead. They must have brought them refs from Chicago. McHale going in. Good and call, now. finally. Bring up to date on the story involving Michael Jordan. He missed 64 games of the season. And the Chicago management did not want him to play anymore. He had a broken left foot. He wanted to play. They said, okay, you can play. They wanted to limit his minutes, and they did. However, he had to sit down with 30 seconds to go in the game on the line against Indiana. He wanted to play. The crowd howled, and Michael Jordan put his foot down and said to the Chicago Bulls management, I'm going to play basketball. That's what I am, a basketball player. And they had to back down, and Jordan has played. And one of the great tributes to integrity and credibility in this sport is on the shoulders of Michael Jordan, I believe. I, I think uh, it is a great story for him to stand. He loves to play the game, and he wants to be on a winning team. Nearly two minutes gone by in this final period. Boston by one. Chicago has led virtually all the way. Jordan. Thanks wow, to that's Jordan tough. 40 points. He had 49 40 in game points. one. Well, Seasting went out. Ainge came back in, and Ainge has ended up with the defensive assignment now. On oh, my God. Come on, EJ. Corzine, the rebound. Ainge is going to guard Jordan now. Sidney Green. Third. Dennis Johnson. McHale crashing the boards. Who wants it? McHale! <laughs> hey. Hey. He was Them boys out there hooping. They figure you're going to get a foul on the play, too, but no whistle. Mikael was on the ground when he shot that. He was falling to the ground. He wasn't even Celtics standing up. One. Three minutes gone by, fourth period. And a foul away from the ball. Here it is. And really banging on the boards. Mikael trying to keep it live. Bird knocks it away. There's Mikael gets submarine. Tell you, he's on the, the ground. That should have been a foul. <laughs> Astonishing shot by Kevin Mikael. Tommy, let's see that shot by Kevin McHale again. That'll be in all the highlights tonight at 11. <laughs> well, it's like a quarterback throwing a touchdown pass as he's Nah, look down. at him, no. He really I, just... I've seen Larry I, I don't even know. What was he things. thinking? Well, we're going to see another angle. It probably looked better from this angle, of course. Look at that. I mean, uh, didn't know what else to do with the he ball. He didn't know what else to do. There, hoping that the whistle would blow. He gets the basket, but no foul. We expect more of the same. <laughs> hey, we need somebody to ask Kevin McHale, Kevin McHale what he was thinking about when he did that, man. You know, Kevin McHale tell all these great stories about Larry Bird. Shout out to both of them. But overall, in general, what were you thinking when you shot that shot, man? Well, come on, Kevin, man. Give us the details, man. Hey, you still here? Make sure you like the video. That, may more, that way more people can come check the video out, y'all. Appreciate y'all. Um, be sure to like the video, subscribe, turn notification bells on. Y'all know the whole cluster of things. As the playoffs move on next Saturday, 3.30 Eastern. And a doubleheader on Sunday, beginning at 1 o'clock Eastern. They sure do know how to make Larry Bird look crazy. stars of the game, and you'll see them on CBS. All the way to the NBA Finals, which you'll see exclusively on CBS as the drama just begins. 9.02 remaining. The foul was on Danny Ainge, his fourth personal foul. It's been seesaw now, six lead changes, but most of them in the last two minutes. Jordan working against Ainge now. And Jordan, if he's he was hit on the hand, it looked like he lost control of the ball, but Yo. he was pushed. And if that's on Ainge, that's five on Dane. Terrible. That is. That's terrible. Does McHale terrible. have an assist on this? Well, Danny is trying to stay one on one with him. Bodies of terrible officiating. Body up, and then what is he following him at? Into Michael Jordan. I thought this was basketball, yo. That was on age. Uh, a lot of fouls called on uh, on the two guards. The 
defending against Jordan right now. They're trying to save Dennis Johnson for the stretch against yeah, these Michael referees. Jordan. They got the referees out of Chicago for now. sure. 42 they points. Tweak. That's what you want. You want Dennis Johnson to be there down the stretch. He has five on the bench. Okay. See you later. Too easy. You overplay against McHale, and he gets the ball. Just count it. And the, the man got a seven, the eight, eight foot something wingspan. It's too easy. Boston is really Seven having foot, trouble think, yeah. getting pace going because there, there's so much poise right now by the Bulls to get the shot they want. Jordan misses. Woolridge has the rebound. Chicago Bulls are playing as if they've been in the playoffs every year for 10 years. Sidney Green. All of y'all down there. The Celtics get the ball, DJ. The Danny. The Danny biggest play. lead was 2 to nothing, and now they can open up a three-point lead. Well, Great inside. Ooh. Passes to Bird. Doubled quickly. Good rotation for Chicago. Dennis Johnson into the ball game. Sidney Green is fouled. They bought a call foul on Going for the ball with 7.50 remaining. Stan Albeck's reaction to the action. <laughs> I, I like the way his tie flops up and down. And, oh, he's Oop. got a hop in his step, too, huh? Larry Bird yeah, with this his is first fourth year for uh, being a coach. A litany of fouls we've got here. We've this got meant a lot to him. Walton with five, Ainge with five, Dennis Johnson with five, Harris with four, Bird with four. Yeah, they they getting over, man. Maybe They're getting the over. Game is doing. The officials are Drawing getting over. The They're one they trying to give the game away to the Bulls. I hate to say it. Sound like some crazy conspiracy theories, but we can all tell it. They call them bad calls in the Bulls' favor. But here's a team, the Chicago Bulls, who lost 52 games. This is the first time a team has made the playoffs with 50 or more losses since the Bulls did it in 68. And they're tied in Philadelphia. And I have to say, the 76ers, you want to use the old cliche, backs against the wall. They're against the wall now. Can't Come on, swing that DJ. Yep, there we go. Bird. Bird goes for three. Let's get it. Let's get it. Celtics lead 102 to 100. They were down by one. Now they're up by two. 32 and Now let's get another stop and, and seal it. Let's seal it. Told you about Bird and Jordan at the start. Let him go up. Who was he? Come on, man. Oh, yeah, that's too easy. Hey. With the smack out. Danny Boy. Told y'all. That's the baseball in him, man. He always looking for the steal. You know, you over there on that first base and the court, the uh, the pitching. Watch try to creep on over here and get the second base real quick. That boy, Danny, know how to he know how to read the, uh, the basketball the court, man. For real. Have their biggest lead of the ball game Shout now. out to Aang. Four points. A Venus flytrap defense. They invite you in, close up on you, and then chew you up and spit you out <laughs> and out comes the ball and the celtics converted that into a fast break opportunity with nobody on danny ainge for the hey. layup now with the smack out type of uh boston trying to create tempo i know it's not out when i see one i know what a smack out is with defense drop something in the comments y'all know what a smack out is y'all know what a smack out is i'm gonna tell y'all next video so stay John tuned. Paxson guarded by Dennis Johnson. Seal the deal. Michael Come on, Celtics. Guarded by Danny Ainge. Y'all was down 10. Now y'all up four. Let's get it. Game Silly. of ISOs right now. Isolation. They double team now. Walton has come out to meet Jordan. Jordan trying to use his quickness and it works. Yeah, they ain't got no Michael choice Jordan but to let Jordan just get what he wants. The, the ref is going for call foul every time. Foul that time. Backed off Jordan a little bit. Walton with five. Next foul and he's gone. Oakley in there. They run in a different Guardian play now. Woolridge on Bird. Good Bird shot. With 34. Keep in mind, Bird didn't get his first points until 15 and a half minutes. We're going into the game. And the two stars we talked about at the 44 top, and 34. Not disappointed in a soul. MJ got 34. Walton trying to double now, picking up Jordan. I know Denny Jordan got more than 11. One on one. They Basket, no, no basket. The foul before, and Bill Walton is fouled out of the ball game, I believe. Oh my God! Look at Bill Walton. I know he's Walton sick. Is fouled out of the ball game. And about to put Parrish in. Parrish, you gonna foul out too? Right. A little pick and roll action forces Walton to end up 
with Michael Jordan. He didn't he even touch him. What is they Walton talking about, bro? Opportunity to take Look at it to this. Now Walton's kind of bumped him before the shot was taken. Are you serious? Bump. Walton, 10 points and 15 rebounds today. Double, double. Shout out Jordan to Bill Walton. Hit his first 16 from the line before he missed there. And yep. both of them. That's what you get, MJ. I, I hate to be MJ hater right now, man. But they patting right now, yo. The referees patting in MJ's favor. They did a, a great job of not asking him to do, do too much too early. Just under six minutes to go. Fourth period. Celtics leading by four. And they'll call the foul away from the ball. It's like one riff referee for the Boston Celtics, the other referee for the Bulls. Michael Jordan, two fouls on Jordan. Harris in the ball game. He's yep. playing with four to the fouls. Edge, Walton, elbow, the ball boom, he's about to hit Bird Dennis up. Johnson is playing with five. Cut over. Bird triple wow. teamed all of a sudden. Paxson gets back to Johnson. And Put a good elevation on that, DJ. Yeah, but uh, DJ didn't swing the ball like they normally do to the wide open Danny Ainge, who's had a hot hand here. Jordan cuts the Celtic lead to two, and he has 46 points. 46 points. Dog about to drop 50 points. Boston Celtics went into this game with a 41 and one record at Boston Garden, including game one victory over Chicago on Thursday. Corzine on McHale. Double again with Paxson. Harris in a crowd. Jordan the rebound in Chicago. Knowing when to double. Man, Robert Parrish playing like he's scared, man. The Celtics are not aware all the time of where the double is actually coming from. Look at the ball. What y'all doing? Bird winds up with the ball. And gets it to Ames. Three on one Boston. Hey. Ames and a whistle. Hey, good hustle, Bird. Shout out to my boy Bird. Good play, Danny. Be always watching. Kind of play off and then DJ again. pulled up and John caught the foul. They shooting too. Shouldn't they be shooting? No call on Bird with that on the floor. Oh, on the floor. I knew it was on the floor. I just been pass. seeing the always going to the, going to the line. So I got to get one off. You know? still didn't get a hoop out of it and not a hey, finally perish, man. Harris with only eight points in the ball game, his first point since the opening period. But it's good enough to give the Celtics a four-point lead, 108-104. Nearly four and a half to play. Jordan is short. Run it. Good. They can't Run it. lead pass. Coxon tops it over, and Ainge was hit in the eye. Jordan brings it up. Ainge staggered for the moment, and a foul called against Bird. Coxon was shaken up, and so is Danny Ainge. That was a collision on that long McHale outlet pass. A great athletic move here by Paxson to go over the top of Ainge. And then Ooh, Ainge we elbowed him in the jaw. jaw. By Paxson's elbow. And Paxson really took a, took a header too. Two I down and eight to go. <laughs> Larry Bird was called for his fifth personal foul. I have not never seen as many fouls called in a game like this. <laughs> The announcer even agreeing with Bird me. Bird on this outlet pass right now. Somebody's got him. They're holding him. That's where I, I said before they could have called the foul. Corzine. They're going Corzine, which wasn't called, and it was like maybe a good no call. So they get fouled, fouled, they go to the line. Oh, they ain't the penalty. Fast break advantage. Yeah. Chicago's been missing from the line as of late. Something they oh, can't afford to do. Strong here. built dude. Man, dude built, built like a football player. One out of two for Charles Oakley. So Bird with five fouls. Dennis Johnson has five. So McHale got five. Fouled out of the game. Parrish, who has fours on easy street <laughs> compared to the others. 4-11 remaining. Bird beating Parrish. Parrish, bro, what are you doing, bro? Draw the foul. Pompe. Chicago with a chance to cut it to one. What a morale builder that defensive stint was for the Bulls. Jordan. Looks like lately the Bulls have been going to Jordan like they did at the start of the last game. Just Here let him get the it. Move in the basket. And it's a one-point game to stay at all back. Urges his team on. Ain't got no chance but to let Jordan get his, make his, to get his way. Ball. They're going to fall out. This is not the time, though. I mean, I don't know, Tom. What do you think to ignore the other guys? Because you're going to need somebody. 
Well, did Jordan I, do it himself? I think Jordan is the guy to go to right now at this phase uh, okay. portion of the game. But the Celtics got to find somebody. Ains with a fake on Corzine. Good shot, shot, Danny boy. Three point lead again for Boston. It looks to me like the Bulls are going to double anything down low that the Celtics try to use Mikhail or Parrish. So it may end up in a lap of Danny Ainge and Dennis Johnson to win this ball game for the Celtics. Jordan beating Corzine. Hook shot, good. Man, Corzine, they what? really gone Did he here. just travel? Six points in the game for the veteran. And it's 110 to 109. But it's, it's been the Bird and Jordan show. Bird with 34. Michael Jordan has 48 on top of his 49 in game one on Thursday night. Well, using that little pick and roll beautifully up top, Jordan and Corzine. There's the time. McHale misses the shot. And the rebound by Oakley. And now Chicago looking to take the lead. Bulls led most of the way. 11-point bulge in the first half, a 10-point lead in the second half. Celtics have fought back. Jordan, short jumper, and it drops, and 50 points for Michael Jordan. Jordan got 50 on them boys, the man, that's yeah. tough. You get him moving left, and he's still, you think you're going to have an advantage, he's got to bring the ball back Everybody to you. Everybody in foul trouble. This man going to have like 60 right points. Everybody in foul trouble. In the Paris, yes, shooting. Shooting. Jordan is saying it was before the shot. We don't care. Every time y'all get fouled, y'all like the free throw line. And that will result in a timeout with 2.10 to go on the clock of this heated affair. And on that note, y'all, nah, we're going to keep watching, man. I'm curious. It's two minutes left of the fourth quarter. Did Tommy, it must be overtime. Chicago Bulls do it at both ends of the floor in the sequence. Well, you got to have a good rotating weak side. I know I had, y'all. That's Michael was like, Jordan. No, 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 man. Keep watching. And he gets over there beautifully to start. And that was a morale builder. And he comes up the other end. And Kevin McHale playing poor defense. Shows him the baseline with no help. And poor defense. What are they supposed to do? Every time I throw. even blow on Michael Jordan, it's a foul. Allows Corzine to get into the pack. That's the travel. What are they talking about? They're not even caught nothing. So the heads of the Bulls are into this win. On top of dude being built like a football remaining. player out there. Dude, got to be like 300 pounds. Oh, Brolic. Barbarian built. Parrish. Basketball. Oh, hello. Foul. Let's get it. Into the line. Let's get it. It's only two minutes left. I'm kind of curious to what's going on. Man, they got to go to overtime. It's, it's the video is saying it's um, still a hold. 15, 23. That's about 30, 35 minutes left. The second half of this year. No way. Better than most. Ainge. Oh. Rare miss for Danny Ainge. A 90 percenter from the line. Now will try to tie it up for the Celtics. Very cocky kid. Good time, buddy. In these type of situations. Oh, Danny boy. Get up on him. We want to welcome the audience that saw the Washington Bullets and the Philadelphia 76ers. This is Dick Stockton and Tom Heinsohn. We're under two minutes to go in a tie game. The Celtics trying to take a 2-0 lead over the Bulls. The 76ers are 1-1 one one now with their victory over Washington. Michael Jordan has been a sensational show again. Can't stop. 52 points for Michael Jordan. And Chicago leads by two. The leading scorers in this game, Michael Jordan and Larry Bird. And the Bulls are within 134 of becoming only the second team to beat the Celtics in the Garden this year. Harris. I don't even know why you go shooting that up. Yeah. Knocked out of bounds. Celtics wanted goaltending. Jordan knocked it out of bounds. No call from the officials. Dick, we've seen the Bulls control the tempo of this game practically for the entire what? length. Slow it down and the get the rest control the tempo. Offense they wanted. And a timeout called by the Celtics. It's come down to this in the Boston Garden. Dick Stockton and Tom Heinsohn with 125 remaining in the final period, and the Chicago Bulls lead by two. The timeout story. And the fouls situation, which has played a major role here. Bill Walton has the already biggest fouled role. out for the Boston. Why is this dude literally, what's up with dog right here over there with the Celtics jacket on, on the Bulls bench? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? 
What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Cause this is this is this is blasphemy. Hopefully I pronounced that right. <laughs> no man, look the referees is out of control, man. They out of control. Celtics. Dennis Johnson, Danny Ainge, and Larry Bird have five. Oakley with five and a host of people with four. Four may not be that much of a factor now unless we go into overtime. Want to remind you the final round action of the Heritage coming up next on CBS. Michael Jordan topped his first game effort. He has 52 points and Roger Maltby has a two-stroke lead at the Heritage. Jordan, by the way, also they just 16 easily points in golf this to the conversation. It's crazy. Trying, trying to, to give the Robert Paris the ball. They, oh, hey, give him the ball. I know y'all want to. Try to use Mikhail Corzine. Did Pull up, a man. Job Pull up. Him. Now go, I think maybe go to Paris. Ten on the clock. Pull up. Paris. Dennis Johnson penetrates. Draws the foul. And one. Told you. Pull up. Let's get it. Let's get it. Just told y'all. You Pull up, BJ. The All Star team. There may not be a more clutch, clutch. Backcourt performer in the league all round and D. Dennis Johnson. As a double team, they went, left Dennis Johnson and he took it to the pack. And Paxson did not get over there quite quick enough. Dennis scored, got a chance for the three point play. So tough. Yep. As a don't don't guard, fail us now. He's six five and he's got that solid body. Mm -hmm. well, he didn't take the outside shot. A minute left, man. A minute five. He's about to be a minute left. A tough penetrator. Celtics By the time he passed one. the ball, it's definitely going to be a minute left. All eyes on oh Jordan, my God. 52. Oh. Short, but there's Oakley fighting inside. Yep, yep. Block. What you doing, Pierce? Pass the ball. Let's get it. Picks it off, and the Keep Celtics going. with under a minute to go have yep. three By Take three. your time, Danny. Take your time. Make it one. Good shot. Ooh. Ooh, good. That was three. a good pass. I thought he was shooting it. Good pass. Seal the deal, then. 27 for Kevin McHale. Those big guys run down the over middle in the crowd. Come on. Yeah. They get open. <laughs> Been the Celtics story this year. Never know MJ might come down there and do something crazy. You're going to see Danny Ainge make a very intuitive play to Kevin McHale. Uh huh. You see Kevin McHale walk just walking like down there. To get Why? The defense to relax and just lays it out there as nice Good as play. can be. For Kevin McHale, what a key pass at a key point in the ball man, game. Man, I don't know where Chicago Next found their basketball players at, man. I mean, they got a few players out there built like bodybuilders, man. Everybody on their team built like Shaq before he Kevin made it to the McHale, league, man. Put this dude Bulls up there, Trey, man. Put, put the Bulls jersey on, let me jack it on, bro. He's supposed to have staff. He's supposed to have staff. He's supposed to have staff on his jacket, man. Go, All white Michael jacket Jordan. with black words that say staff. I'll be very surprised. But what they really have to do, Mike, uh, if the Celtics will be jumping Press him. Oh, no, yeah, the shot them boys. Jordan, yeah, let him go. Ball. Let him do him. Corzine in the corner, inside to Oakley. Oh my God, that was literally Parrish. a block. That'll be his fifth personal foul. Five on Robert Parrish. So they went to someone else other than Michael Jordan and Casey Jones. Well, they beat the, the Boston Press, and here's Oakley underneath, and that was the foul out Oh, uh, yeah, you Bird pushed him, Parrish. The ball. Boston went up and challenged Ooh, Michael Jordan. Ooh, Oakley, like, 66% uh, from a the thousand push-ups in a today. day. Every well, day, 7,000 push-ups in the week. Defense of the Celtics wasn't in the play. Good move by Paxson to create it. Yup, yup. Celtics lead by two. Make Chicago, yup, Chicago make Chicago foul. Right Ain't got no choice but the foul, yup. Walking down. Walking down, DJ. Yup, walking down. Yup, walking down. Yup, give it the bird, yup. Make him foul. Only gonna be two seconds on the clock. Get back to DJ. Fires it up Look, go ahead, Pierce. Oh my God! And there are eight seconds to go, and Chicago calls timeout. They ain't had no chance with the call that timeout. Yeah, they gave him that six. Yeah. A two-point ball game. What are they doing? Chicago. Larry Bird throw up a wild shot. Paris seemingly had the ball, and there was Stan Albeck looking on as Oakley ultimately wound up with the ball. That was a four-hop play. And Stan right on it calls the timeout, but here's Bird being double teamed. I think he was really hoping he get a foul call that time. 
Parrish has the rebound. Parrish nice got butter fingers, bro. Right he ain't held on to nothing all game, dude. I'm highly disappointed in this the cat, ball. man. The man they wanted, Larry Bird. Uh, not the best judgment that time. He thought he might have gotten fouled. That's why he let it all fly. Right. So six seconds to go, Tommy. The obvious thing is to let Michael Jordan do it, either yep. outside or inside. He has a career high of 52 points. Tremendous effort by Michael Jordan. What are the options now for Stan Albeck other than Michael Jordan? Look at him talking and everything well, over in the Celtics one guy gear. that can get by a man, but all the Celtics are going to be running at him. If they can get the ball to him quickly, they'll be able to get a shot, a quick shot, and a potential rebound. Uh, more for the, the, the fact that the Celtics will be concerned about him. That's why I want the ball in his hands and hope that he makes the shot. If not, you've got almost a guaranteed shot at a good rebound opportunity. Bulls have one timeout left. They led most of the way in this game. 11 in the first half, 10 in the second. Celtics whittled the lead. They were down by three after three period and open up a lead of no more than four points with seven minutes to go and a little less than that. And Chicago fought back. Had the score. Everybody had one of them Celtic so, uh, varsity jackets. Man, them boys game. hard Another though. Question is, is Kyle them Celtic bar varsity jackets hard. You go for three and try to gamble and win it all here. MJ, well, 52 points, the man. He put 52 points on Celtic shot. head, man. I know and he went for the Celtic here, man. But look, Jordan might create Top. that, but he also Top. may make the basket himself and get the foul. I got a couple of ways they can score three points here. They have one timeout left, six seconds to go. Mikael, protect the basket. Paxson will inbound. And now the Celtics call a timeout. Is there something they saw? The lineup on the inbound play, I think, and who's in the ball game. They just recognized Macy was in there, I believe, and now they said, uh, let's talk it over what we're going to do with Macy. Now, what could they do with Macy? Now they have several possibilities for outside shots, Jordan and Macy being just two of them. Well, by putting Macy in the ball game, what you have is the potential of uh, the defense extending. All right, we'll be back with the finish. The Chicago Bulls have given the Boston Celtics a tremendous battle today, but need two points to tie, perhaps three to win with six seconds to go. Michael Jordan with a career high of 52 points on the heels of 49 in game one. Larry <laughs> Bird with 34 points and 11 rebounds high. today. <laughs> and talking Last about time whether was to go career for three high. or two, keep in mind that Bird has five fouls, Parrish has five, Walton's out of the game. Chicago may be better off going for two, but who knows? They got Paxson and Macy in there. By having them in the lineup, that might extend the Celtics' defense. Wedman is in for Boston for defensive purposes. That's the change the Celtics made. Michael Jordan working against Dennis Johnson. Clock running down. Three seconds. Three-point shot. No good. And a foul. Late sweep. A foul against Kevin McHale. There's no way. These With referees no are the crazy. Kevin McHale can't believe it. These referees are crazy. Kevin McHale has been called for the foul on Michael Jordan from eight feet beyond the three point line i have to see it myself here's kevin coming all the way he never he fouled him actually happened but players do fake the foul he can tie it up here and send the game in over oh he missed no it he missed eight. one he made his first 16 then missed two before he made the one and this is pressure put the score up y'all he missed one he had that missed one In game two of our best of five. That is crazy. NBA playoff. And the Chicago Bulls are trying to do what only the Portland Trail Blazers have done so far this year. I cannot believe this game has turned out to be like this, y'all. Hey, man, if y'all been here this so far, man, I know y'all sending these likes up, man. This video should be getting about 40 likes, man, because I didn't know it was going to turn out to be like this, honestly. This game is going into overtime. Overtime. Make sure, just make sure I like the button, like the video. That way more people can come check this out. We need as many people to come look at this as we can get. Because these referees are cutting up. Please drop some in the comments what y'all think about the referees. Drop some in the comments what y'all think about Michael Jordan getting that 52, daddy. Well, now he got like 53, 54 maybe. I don't know. I'm really so baffled here with this whole foul at the end of the game to send it to overtime, man. Like, Boston was down 10 points, came all the way back. They deserve to get their win. 
Uh, yeah, these referees just taking it too far. But, man, y'all something to comment. What y'all think about this? Bird only had, like, 11 points probably the second half. Now he got 30-something. So, this might be the game I hear everybody talk about with Jordan getting 60-something points. But y'all something in the comments. It's your boy, Dito Donero. We already been here for, what, a good 55 minutes, probably an hour. So, make sure y'all get y'all some water and go use the bathroom. I know we've been here for a little minute. But, anyways, peace. We out.